She's right there in Burger King, and people are walking by all over. And Michelle, the Holy Ghost, fills Michelle, and she starts speaking in tongues. So we're sitting there in Burger King, and Michelle is saying that she wants to get the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and she wants to not only be able to speak in other tongues, she wants to be able to interpret the other tongues that she's speaking in. <laughs> Woo! If you haven't spoken in tongues, you're missing a real blessing. If you don't speak in tongues every day, you're missing a real blessing. If you don't interpret the tongues the Lord gives you, you're missing a real blessing, praise God. You can have the blessing of God every single day. That's why Jude said, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You'll keep yourself in the love of God. You'll be looking for the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. You'll be like the five wise virgins that keeps your lamp filled with oil. Glory to God. Praying in other tongues and interpreting helps you keep your lamp filled with oil so that when the trumpet sounds, which is not going to be long, you'll be lifted up off of this earth to meet the Lord in the air. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So anyway, we're talking to Michelle. We're sitting there at Burger King there in Walmart talking to Michelle. And so the Lord has me share some scriptures with her. And one of those scriptures was, was if your father is evil and he knows how to give good gifts, how much more will your father in heaven give good gifts to them who ask him? And so Jesus said, if you ask for a stone, you're not going to get a rock. If you ask for a fish, you're not going to get a serpent. And if you ask for the Holy Spirit, you're not going to get an unholy spirit. So hallelujah. You know, uh, 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 you don't have to wait any more, any longer to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Spirit. Just like you received Jesus. You received Jesus. If you're a Christian, you received Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Well, you also have to receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost wants to be uh, in you and dwell in you and show you things to come. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the key to victory in this life praying in other tongues, interpreting the tongues. Maybe you're ready to receive the Holy Ghost and you haven't spoken in other tongues. Or maybe you received the Holy Ghost years ago, but you haven't spoken in tongues since. Well, the Holy Ghost is a flowing stream that should never dry up. It should never dry up. Don't let the Holy Spirit stream dry up in the inside of you. Because when the Holy Spirit dries up on the inside of you, then you start to get that prune face Christianity. Yeah, all those wrinkles in your brow, all those wrinkles on your face, because the Holy Ghost oil, you haven't applied the Holy Ghost oil lately. So you need to get that Holy Spirit ointment on you right now. Praise God. Okay, so, so Michelle gets baptized in the Holy Spirit. She's right there in Burger King, and people are walking by all over. And Michelle, the Holy Ghost, fills Michelle, and she starts speaking in tongues. And then, she, then God gave her the interpretation. Uh, what was the interpretation? I don't remember, but God gave her the interpretation was right on. And the interpretation is never going to be crossways with the Word of God. It's always going to confirm and be in line with what the Holy Bible says. It's not going to be anything out of line with the Bible. And it was. And there, there we were. Right there, people were walking by, and, and she's praying in tongues. We're all praying in tongues, getting an interpretation. Glory to God. Doesn't that sound great? Don't you want that today? The way you dr drink this Holy Ghost wine is you have to become the cup. What you do is you lift your both hands and, like, and you become the cup. And you say, Lord, Lord, here am I. I. Here am I. Fill my cup, Lord. We used to have a song back in the 70s and 80s. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting in my soul. Is your soul thirsty today? God will come and quench the 
thirsting of your soul. You want to be free from fear and depression and doubt. You've got to get filled with the new wine. Hallelujah. You know, Peter didn't have any shame on the day of Pentecost. Once he was filled with the new wine, there was no fear. There was no more inhibitions. That's one thing about wine. Wine, when you drink that wine, you lose your inhibitions. Hallelujah. The characteristics of, of wine. It, one of those characteristics is you lose your inhibitions. And when you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you will lose all inhibitions. You, you can walk up to a gang member and get right in his face and tell him, God's got a great plan for your life and he loves you. Hallelujah. Yeah, the other day I was at a gas pump and the guy in front of me, I was waiting. And my wife says, say something to that guy. Say something to that guy. And my flesh was going, I don't want to say anything to that guy. I just want to wait for my turn to put gas in my car. I don't want to say nothing to that guy. I didn't tell her that, but that's the way I was acting. And then she says, say something, say something. Hallelujah. So finally I thought I better give in here because she's right and I'm wrong. And uh, <laughs> I just didn't want to obey God because I, I wasn't charged up enough. But see, if I had just been praying in the Holy Ghost and interpreting, I would have been ready and she wouldn't have had to remind me. The Holy Ghost would have told me even before she did. So anyway, so I wind down the window and I go, hey, man. Hey, yeah, you. I'm like, I didn't even know what I was going to say. And I said, hey, man, I am talking to you. And then I said, he looks at me. I said, God's watching you. God is watching you. And he's got a great plan for your life. And that's all I said. But you know what? That was like shooting a, an arrow. Boom. It went right into his heart. The Holy Ghost will now use that, 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 that one phrase, God is watching you. He will use that again and again and again. And that guy's going to come to Jesus. I guarantee you. He is not going to be able to stand the conviction, withstand the conviction of the Holy Ghost. Because every time he goes to sin, the Holy Ghost is going to remind him, God is watching you. God is watching you. God is watching you. Oh, you're going to steal? God is watching you. Oh, you're going to commit some kind of a sexual sin? God is watching you. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to enjoy it. <laughs> you know, one time before I got saved, boy, and I'm a little scattered and I'm going a little bit long. I'm going to end this as soon as I can. Yeah. Oh, my wife. Let me tell you about this. My wife just reminded me about a target. We were out in Oklahoma, out in Tulsa one day, and we were driving around praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. With a friend of ours from Tulsa. And uh, all of a sudden there's this uh, group of, I don't know, about two or three or four young kids, like uh, late teen years. And so the Holy Ghost directs us to go over and witness to them. Praise God. So we go over to him and the Holy Ghost gives my wife a word. See, a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom can, can, can come in many different ways. You don't have to figure it out. It's a word of knowledge from his spirit. It's a word of knowledge from the mind of God. It doesn't come from your mind. It comes from the mind of God. Just like when I told that guy, God's watching you. That didn't come from my mind. That came out of my spirit. And when, when we go up to these two or three young kids and my wife says, hey, God, hey, did you know there's a target on your back? God's got a target on your back. And, and, and the Holy Ghost made it so real to him. He goes, there is, where is it? Where? There is it? Where is it? And, and so the Holy Ghost shot the arrow of the Lord, bam, right into his heart. And the Holy Ghost hit the target on his back. Glory to God. That young kid, I'll tell you what, he'll never be able to get away from that. Every, everywhere he goes, every time he thinks about his back, he's going to be thinking, there's a target on my back. Glory to God. Well, anyway, praise God. I was going to say something about before I was saved. Then I'm going to wrap this up because it's going longer than I want it to go. I hope you're being blessed and I hope you hit subscribe. I hope you hit share and I hope you hit the notification button. She's right there in Burger King and people are walking by all over. And Michelle, the Holy Ghost fills Michelle and she starts speaking in tongues.